morning everyone i'm professor savita burke and today we are going to start with the international finance international finance is one of the most interesting and scoring subject in your tybms finance in today's lecture we are going to understand regarding the exchange rates now over here they have given you a currency pair of usd inr 68.1610 slash 68.1615 it means that suppose if you want to buy one US dollar, how much Indian rupees you have to spend? Or if you want to sell the US dollars, how much Indian rupees you are going to get that they have specified in this transaction. Please remember that whatever the currency they have given you at the first position, that is a base currency, that is nothing but your foreign currency. Whatever the currency they have given you at the second position, that is always a variable currency and that is your home currency. Now they have given you the two rates over here. Always the first rate will be your bid rate. Bid rate means a buying rate. It is very easy to remember that B stands for the bid, B stands for the buying. So if that is a bid rate means it is a buying rate. And the second rate they have specified that is always called as the ask rate. Ask rate is the selling rate. But please remember that this both buying and selling rate are from your bank's point of view. If the bank wants to buy, the 68.1610 is the applicable rate. And if the banks want to sell, then 68.1615 is the applicable rate. The bank is always going to buy at the lower rate and they are going to sell at the higher rate. But for the individual, that will be totally opposite. Now, I am planning to go for the world tour in the coming vacation. So, I require the US dollar. But from where I am going to purchase this US dollar? Definitely from the bank. So, bank selling rate that is 68.1615, that will be the buying rate for me. And after the tour, suppose I'll still have the few of the US dollars with me that I have to return back to the bank. So bank's buying rate will become the selling rate for me. Means for the world tour, I'm going to buy US dollars at a rate of 68.1615 and I'm going to sell the US dollars to the bank at the 68.1610. So you have to remember that the bank will always buy at the lower price and they will sell at the higher price. But for the individual, it will be totally opposite. The individual is going to purchase the currency at the higher rate and they are going to sell the currency at the lower rate. I hope that this concept is clear to all of you. So keep watching my further lectures for the more guidance on the international channels like and subscribe to my channel comment below for the further implementation in my lectures all the best for your forthcoming tybms examination